This information is a thing that we've been dealing with at a high level since the beginning of time. But when it comes to COVID measures and things like that, or uh, or just debating whether or not we need to take these types of mitigation measures or even vaccines, people find ways to try to convince others of what they're doing. Maybe sometimes pushing false realities. But when you get caught up in the conspiracy theory that you had no idea you were getting caught up in, it's even more devastating. Let's watch this story from this one uh, woman. This is a post that I posted after we realized that we miscarried. Um, and this was December 1st that I posted this. It's hard to tell people you lost your baby. Um, but I wanted to erase the stigma around that a little bit. I woke up one day in February to one of my community members saying that she had seen a picture of me circulating highly on Facebook. And it was insinuating that the vaccine was what caused my miscarriage. When in fact, I had actually had the vaccine three weeks after I'd miscarried. This is what they said on Facebook that I got the shot on December 21st. But then January 24th is when I lost my baby. But in fact, it was December 1st. So they changed the dates. That's uh, Dr. Michelle Rockwell. Um, she's grieving over the loss of her baby uh, due to miscarriage. Um, and she was trying to connect with other parents, maybe other uh, people who've experienced these types of things in families as a relatability issue. And many times women and families don't talk about these devastating events that happen. And she was looking to reach out and help others. And instead it gets turned around, misused, misinterpreted purposefully and changed for the sake of saying, look what the COVID vaccine did to this woman and her baby. Well, well, um, when she tried to reach out to talk to some people about getting this cleared up and correcting uh, the record, this is what happened. I found just about a handful of them and I directly messaged the people who were posting them and, and told them that this is false information. Some people were really great about it and they apologized and other people were really horrible saying that I killed my baby and that I was a murderer. And you know, I was angry that someone would do this and I was sad and it was really hard. Many of us um, have either been around that experience of miscarrying uh, with the family or a woman who has miscarried a baby or has known someone else who has. And I want you to imagine what those folks went through or maybe you went through. And then after that, then being exploited like this and your story being manipulated and changed for a completely different narrative to make sure that you tell other people to not be as safe as possible. All for the sake of, hey, you know, we're. I mean, maybe some of these folks that pushed back on her were like, hey, we're just good Christians or we have a higher moral compass than you do. Do you? So as you misinterpret purposely and use someone else's story, a devastating story, oh, you're a baby killer. Again, we go back to the sanctity of life. Do they care? Do they care that she lost her baby? Do they care that she tried to make, try to bring some kind of positivity to someone else's life to know that they're not alone? No, it goes straight back to using someone else for your own purposes. It's it's. By the way, let's jump up, up to that first graphic again because I want to point out in case people are wondering as far as the vaccines and pregnancy, this is what they're pushing back against from the CDC. People who have COVID-19 during pregnancy are also at an increased risk for preterm birth delivery. I'm sorry, that's delivery of the baby after early than 37 weeks and stillbirth and might be at an increased risk for other pregnancy complications. So getting the vaccine is actually helpful. This is the thing that they want to flip on its head. So let's use someone's devastating story so that we can push our lies. That's where we stand now. So by the way, um, this wasn't the only time this happened. There was also uh, another image of another gentleman whose also image was stolen and used for nefarious purposes when he was saying something completely different. Let's watch this. I posted a video about retractable props. So when we're doing a hospital scene and someone needs to be injected with a medication, we have a, a fake needle. Now, when I say retractable, I mean that the needle goes into the syringe. There's a tube with a spring in it. So that makes the needle pop right back up. It was a popular video. It was seen by millions of people. 
So when vaccines first became available, that's when the conspiracy theories started. People started, uh, without my permission, using footage from my retractable prop TikTok and using it out of context, saying this is how politicians are going to fake vaccinations to make the sheep comply. I had no one to go to about uh, you know, someone using your information for uh, misinformation. It's real hard to track people down. You don't know where they are. You really don't know who to get mad at. That's sad because uh, commenters that saw this, as we saw from Vice News there, uh, who was highlighting two of these folks' stories there, uh, they had things to say about it. They found him, and instead of paying attention to what's happening and maybe rethinking your position or rethinking who it is you're following, keep your position. At least use some reality base in your in your uh, in your arguments. So here's a couple of the of the things that people said um, to these stories. How do you know that these people are telling you the truth? <laughs> okay, um, Vice News tonight, nothing but a tool of the Communist Party. Now, right there, just with that, that's why there's a demonization of the voices of the people who are saying things because they want no matter what they do say or what they do show. Later, people like this will say, that's Vice News. So when I see reality in front of my face, I'm gonna deny it. And lastly, tell me, has the government ever lied to you about anything in your life? So now do you think they're telling you the truth? Don't be a sucker, all they do is lie. And to that, I say, um, let's see, Mitch McConnell, Donald Trump, Lindsey Graham, Ted Cruz, all of your favorite politicians, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Lauren Boebert, they're in government. Guess what government is? What you just said lies to you all the time. Which part of the government or is this just something you use every once in a while when you want to point out that I'm just not going to listen to it and blah, la 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 for children. And when we see facts in front of our faces, if it doesn't match up with what you want it to your end game and your belief system, it's just not real. It's sad and it gets people killed and then it hurts other folks that had to deal with situations like this. I don't know what's gonna change.